that's not something that you can prepare yourself for. You just have to react, and hopefully your reaction won't put you in any further harm or danger. React when the bullets start flying. Seven people shot at three different crime scenes. It started at Fairview Park in Winston-Salem. Yeah, and the second on US 52 near the park. The third site, a convenience store there on 25th Street. This is all within about a mile of each other, and police say the shootings are connected and the victims targeted. Foxy's Daniel Pierce just spoke with investigators, and Daniel, I understand the resources there are already slim, and this is taking up the resources they have left. They're throwing every resource they possibly have at their disposal at this crime that just seems to become an every other day occurrence, a weekly occurrence here in the city. Just a few moments ago, police said that they were not ready to name a person or persons of interest in this latest case. Today, though, I spoke with James Coleman, and he tells me he is one of those unintended targets in this case, and he walked me through everything that he survived on Sunday. Even with training in the, in the Marines, you can never be prepared for a drive-by, you know. Marine James Coleman has the training to survive combat. He never thought he'd have to use that two blocks from his house. No, sir. No, sir. The chaos for Winston-Salem police started just before 8 Sunday night. Officers were called to Fairview Park where they found more than 50 shell casings. Witnesses tell Fox 8 a crowd of people started to run down Bethlehem Lane. One witness told me that as the shooters were moving down Bethlehem Lane, still exchanging gunfire, one bullet actually traveled pretty far. The next street over to where it lodged into the front door of his neighbor's apartment. Multiple rounds right here in the park. They appear to be 5.56, five, just so everybody's aware it's rifle rounds. James says while he was inside this convenience store on 25th Street, he could hear the shootings. I thought it was somebody outside tapping. They was like, no, that's gunshots. Seconds later, he saw the white vehicle pass the store. A person with a gun was hanging out of the sunroof. He says they fired at the house across the street, turned around, and fired at the people inside the store. James hid behind this ATM. I peeped out one time behind the ATM machine. It was like seeing three bodies at the front of the store. Past me, like I, I hit in the shoulder. I couldn't remember which shoulder they were holding, but he was saying he got hit in the shoulder. This is the level of violence that's just rising in our community, and we have to take a stand and hold those people accountable. The bullet scratched James. What's frustrating him, though, is knowing he could have lost his life because of someone else's actions. Thinking that, you know, it's, it's okay during the daytime, but they shoot it during the day at night all times. So. The owner of that convenience store tells me that this has happened three times before, and if it happens again, he's closing up shop and leaving. He also says that authorities have been able to get security cameras from in that area. A photo or video, though, has not been released. Live in Winston-Salem, Daniel Pierce, Fox 8 News.